Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Um, obviously with South Africa in lockdown and us having to spend all the time inside our houses, uh, I've been spending so much time in my kitchen, actually really loving being able to slow down, experiment with different recipes and different foods. Um, so yeah, I have been cooking date balls and chocolate and pasta dishes, um, homemade burgers, homemade pizzas and really, really, really enjoying it. Obviously being super mindful about going to the shops only for essential food and then sanitizing, washing the food properly, washing our hands before and after and during food prep. But other than that, it's been such a great experience and I really hope that you enjoy following me along on today's cook. So let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm Meg, also known as the Good Gut Guru. I am a health coach specializing in gut health and I'm also a plant-based foodie at heart. So I never used to love cooking, um, but seeing as I moved to a plant-based lifestyle about two or three years ago, I really love it. It's something that brings so much joy into my life and yeah, this kitchen is my happy place, so welcome. So today we're going to be cooking up a plant-based penne pasta. I'm also going to be using Flora's new vegan range which is made completely with 100% plant-based oils. It really just adds that creaminess and depth of flavor to the dish. There's also going to be loads of veg, loads of herbs. Um, it's full of flavor and it's so 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 simple. So let's get started. Okay, so we need to start first by prepping the ingredients. So I'm just gonna go over to my cutting station and get started. Okay, so now we just start with the sauce. It's super simple. We basically just plop all of the ingredients in the blender. Um, I've got one clove of garlic straight into the blender. I've got a cup of fresh basil that's been washed also into the blender. Um, some delicious sun-dried tomatoes. This is a quarter cup. And then some fresh parsley into the blender. Then we put two tablespoons of the flora. Okay. Simple, that's it. And then we just turn it on. Okay, so you want to make sure that it's all blended up. There's a little bit of um, basil still chunky in there, but that's good. It's got a good, rich, deep color. And then just give it a bit of a taste. Mm. And then on to the next step. Okay, so the next step is just to cut up some zucchinis. This is also part of the sauce. So we're just going to chop up some zucchinis. Nice and thick. We don't want them too thin. Um, zucchinis are a great source of fiber for your gut. Uh, I think so many people think that plant-based eating is boring. It's all about salads and um, just boring food food that isn't full of color, but I love making my food rich in color and vegetables. So always got lots of fresh stuff in my food. Okay, and once that's done, we're gonna go on to some bell peppers. Like I said, always got loads of color and fresh veg in my food. So I've got all three colors just to add some variety into the dish. So we'll get started on that. This is the next part of the sauce. Um, I love the fresh colors and the variety that I'm adding in here. You can add as much as you like, really. Uh, these are just the basics. So I've got two cups of zucchini. I've got, you can use just one bell pepper if you don't love green ones. The yellow and the red will work perfectly. With, and then we're gonna add that 
and the sun-dried tomato mixed together to make something delicious and flavorful. Okay, then we're going to move on to the next step, bring over my fresh ingredients here and then I'm just going to heat the pan to medium heat and instead of using oil, I'm actually going to use the flora to cook the zucchini and the bell peppers. So, just going to take one tablespoon and just get it all up in there, coat in the pan. Get the zucchini in. So those will fry for about two to three minutes. Just make sure that they're really nice and soft. Um, whatever you like. I like somewhere in between crunchy and soft. So we'll see how long that takes. Oh, I got that in there. Okay, so you just mix that around. Okay, so now the zucchini is looking nice and browned. I'm just going to throw the bell peppers in there. And then we have to start on the pasta. So I've got some water that's just boiled in the kettle. You can either boil it on the stove. But yeah, we're going to get started on that. Okay, so the zucchini and bell peppers are pretty much done. So I'm just going to get the pasta on the go. Move it over to this pan. Put it on a high heat. And then I always like to just add a crack of salt into the water. Okay, then we've got a full bag of pasta. This is penne. Um, yeah, I'm just going to pour it in. So while the pasta is going, um, the zucchini mix is ready. I'm just going to grab the other stuff that I've got from the blender. Okay, and then we've got to get all of this out and we're going to add it in to the zucchini mix. So with these blenders I like to use a rubber um, tool to get it all out so that you don't scrape the blades. So we're just going to add that all into there. Get it out from the bottom. really gets in between those blades sometimes. Okay. Then we just mix that all together. So creamy and delicious. Okay, I'm just going to add this leftover margarine that I've got on that spoon. Just going to add it to the zucchini mix, put it on a low heat and just let it simmer really get that zucchini soaking up that mixture and then we can eat.
Mm, that's so good. an al dente penne so not too overdone nobody likes overdone pasta so it's nearly ready so the pasta is nearly done I've switched the heat off on my pan I'm just gonna get the dishes to start dishing and I hope Paul's ready for a delicious lunch Okay, so now everything's done. It's just about dishing it all up, which is actually my favorite part. I love making food look good and delicious. Put the pasta in there. And then just gonna add all over. This is such a good meal for a Sunday afternoon. Really wholesome, flavorful. Yum. Get it all in there. Okay, and then I'm just going to top with some fresh basil. Like I said, adding some more color and flavor to the dish. It actually doesn't need any more flavor. It's so full of flavor. So, here we go. Now we're just going to dish it and eat. Cheers. Cheers. Looks so good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Sure. That's very good, mate. 